Hello and welcome to the Rosetude series. Today we're going to look at a very technical etude, the etude number 6. So what to look for in that piece? First the key signature, it's in G major, so we have F sharp. The tempo it's allegro, quarter note equal 100. Time signature 2-4, which means we have two quarter notes per measure. The dynamics, there's none written, so a good suggestion probably will be to play mezzo forte. Articulation, slurs and staccato. Breath marks, some are already written, use it. If not, just put your own. Type of etude, technical, like I said. So how to practice this etude? First, practice slowly. I will divide in eight notes and I will do the eight notes equal 66 on your metronome and I'll make my way up to 120. And then when I feel good at that tempo, I'll try to play that quarter note equal 100. Practice one melodic line at a time from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines and so on. So, a few tips before starting to practice it. Let's look at measure 3. Here we have an A sharp and I just want to make sure that you know that an A sharp equals a B flat. That's all I wanted to say here. So that A sharp is a B flat. So the same fingering as your regular B flat. At measure 15, 16, 17 here, if you notice we have some chromaticism. So if you know your chromatic scale, if you don't know yet, there's another video where I show how to do the chromatic scale. But here there's a chromatic scale. So from A all the way to E. So it's very easy when you know the chromatic scale to just realize it is that and then you can just trust your fingers doing it. So if I sh show it. measure 56. Here we have a D sharp. A D sharp is taken on the right pinky. I mean the note before has to be taken on the left pinky. So here the C natural is going to be on the left and the D sharp on the right. That's it. So now we're going to try to play it. So I'll play it and then you can follow along the score, it's going to be on the side and I hope it will help you play the piece a little better. 